When homesteading, it's hard to find the time to get away and go on vacation. With having animals to care for and projects to get done before winter comes, taking time away is difficult. I've lived here for two years now and haven't really taken the time to explore the town. My adult children recently came to visit and it was a ready excuse to take some time away from the homestead. Sandpoint, Idaho is a great little destination to visit and to explore. We went downtown to Cedar Point Bridge, which had been turned into this great little shopping area. Potato, pancake mix. Oh, wait, look. It's salt and pepper shakers. It was fun to explore the shops and is an inexpensive way to see the town as long as you aren't buying everything that you like along the way. Homesteaders often find ourselves against the very edges of our capacity to do what needs to be done, and it can be quite overwhelming at times with building, growing our own food, raising animals, household tasks, making sure we have water, and the maintenance of the infrastructures and the community involvement along the way, just to name a few. We are spread pretty thin most of the time. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Some days it seems like we are being pulled in a thousand different directions with each one a top priority. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and I hear it time and time again from homestead posts and fellow homesteaders. If you are feeling burnout, no matter if you homestead or you don't, it's important to take that time for yourself on occasion to rejuvenate. Remind yourself why you have chosen to live the lifestyle that you have chosen to live. Don't climb on Antonio. Oh no, don't climb on antlers. I thought your name was Antonio. I loved checking out the local shops and spending more time in my community. Spending time with family that I don't see often enough also does wonders for one's soul. I realize how taking a staycation really helped to rejuvenate me. I wouldn't change the way I live. What will change is making that time to explore what is around us and reminding myself that Rome wasn't built in a day and this homestead life is a long game giving ourselves grace that we do what we can with what we have and that someday soon what we envision will come to fruition. Jewelry time. After that, we walked around the little shops downtown, which many are family owned with locally made items.
I always like to support my local community when I can. Lastly, we visited City Beach, which is exactly what it says it is, a beach located right in the downtown area. It definitely gives that beachy feel. It's a day with my kids. They love being filmed. <laughs> what do you guys think of Sandpoint? We're being held against our will. <laughs> Guys having fun? Yeah. Apparently we're getting in the water even though we do not have swimsuits on. <laughs> Don't be lame sauce, get in. I guess that's better than her saying simmer down little pot roast like she said oh, earlier today. <laughs> I can do this without frying my hand because melted marshmallow. 
Grazie. How was your s'mores? Good. Yeah? Was it as good as this one? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tasted that one. I think mine was better because it was all charred. Because it was burnt. <laughs> it was this charred. This is perfectly brown. The official term is charred. Burnt. Charred. If you go to a culinary school, they will say that is charred. <laughs> Courtney, is that charred or is it burnt? It's burnt. <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that is burnt. Burn, baby, burn. Char, baby, char. <laughs> that is burnt. Exactly. That's true. Hold on. Shh. You. She understands the technical definition. She goes to college. That is. She look, you can <laughs> see knows it. things. You can smell it. It is she burnt. She knows things. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. She's losing the guts of it. <laughs> if it was burnt, you wouldn't have like the Exactly. Whose daughter are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Steve-o. That's crazy. I'm truly blessed to do this with my best friend by my side. <laughs> Good night, all. Good night. Thank you.